appreciated. Yamcha can be pretty intimidating. It's super noisy, all the late stuff are yelling things at you, and you probably don't know what half the dishes are. But the thing is, Yamcha is like a ritual. It's like a social institution. So show it some respect, do it right. Let's eat Yamcha. So when you go to Yamcha, the first thing they'll ask you as soon as you sit down is what tea you want. So answer it like a pro. Usually the default tea is like bole. It's quite inoffensive, it's quite mild. Um, but I also enjoy salme, which is what we have today, um, which is quite fragrant and smooth. It's quite light. And um, also tikkun yam, I would also recommend. It's very nice. The tea is usually charged per person, so it's basically unlimited refill. If you've run out of tea, just put the lid like that and someone should fill it up for you. You should always pour everyone else's tea before yours. The person that you're pouring for will say thank you by tapping their fingers on the table. This is so that the conversation is not interrupted and the fact that your mouth might be full. Okay, so at Yamcha, billing is, and pricing is a little bit different. So you will generally have a sheet like this and this is your bill. So every time that you order a dish, every time you order dim sum, they will stamp it and it's categorized. So it's categorized into small dishes, medium dishes, large ones, and then like special ones, expensive ones. Um, so you can see like, I guess how much things are costing. Um, generally the biggest price traps at Yamcha to avoid are probably like the barbecue meats. They're really expensive. So like your suckling pig, your roast duck. You're just better off going to the barbecue shop for that, I reckon. Um, otherwise it's a free for all. The quintessential dim sum is definitely your hagao, which is your prawn dumplings. My mum always says that you measure how good a yum cha place is by their hagao. The skin has to be translucent, it should be thin, but um, at the same time it should still be sturdy enough to hold all the juicy prawn inside. Similar to hagao, you might encounter other translucent skin dumplings filled with items such as seafood like scallops, called daiji gao, or just fresh veggies called gao choy gao. So one of my favourite yum cha dishes is cheng fan, which are rice noodles. Usually they're stuffed with things inside, so you can get ones with prawn, you can get ones with like cha siu, barbecue pork, or um, you can get these ones which are called cha lang cheng fan, which has got like fried dough inside, so it's like soft, but it's crispy at the same time. It's like magic. Cha siu bao is like pretty goi lol. It's like a steamed bun and it's full of um, barbecue roast pork inside and um, you can just eat it with your hands really. And also, don't be a noob, make sure you peel off the paper. So something that I think is really worth ordering is um, the pan-fried radish cake. This is called lobako. A lot of work goes into it. You think it's just like some little square of whatever, but it's actually like radish that's been shredded and it's like mixed in with other things like lap cheng and like meats and mushrooms. And it's been steamed for hours and it takes heaps of work and it's like, really crispy and caramelized on the outside, but it's like chewy and soft and it's just really good. We flagged down a cart just for this, and this is hamse gok, and it's really yummy. It's like sweetened rice dough, and it's been deep fried, and it's got all the salty stuff inside, so like meat, maybe mushrooms, other fun stuff, and it's really fresh, it's super crispy. First timers might find this dish a little difficult to stomach. It's called alzap, which is tripe, and it has a very unique texture and it's really juicy. So you should try it at least once. You may or may not regret it. Any yum cha should have a good variety of desserts floating around. Some of my favorites include sago, which are tapioca pals and summer fruits in coconut milk, and dan tart, the quintessential egg custard tart in flaky pastry. The signature here is the lao sa bao, which is the salted egg yolk bun. It's filled with sweet custard, which is tinged with this salty graininess, which comes from the salted duck egg yolk. And when you break open the super soft bun, it should just ooze a waterfall of golden goodness. Last but not least, yum cha is a social affair because that way, if you bring a group, you can eat more and it'll be cheaper. So make sure to bring your friends.